So I just put my hair up, put makeup on, got the baby ready. Raphael's ready, he's getting some snacks. Um, then we're gonna go, I have an appointment for Abigail. I just washed all the boogers out of her nose. <laughs> she just got up. Uh, she has to get her teeth looked at because her teeth are all jacked up, like seriously deformed. <laughs> and uh, you guys said that she had like uh, skin right here which would cause her to have a gap tooth really bad. So we're going to try to correct it, maybe get that cut and look at her adult teeth maybe to see if they're gonna come in the same way because they are joined together with other teeth. And you're so peeled. Hey, but you look cute. And that's the, that's the main thing that matters for babies, right? Are you okay? Are you irritated? You got a foot? I'm Are you irritated? Yes, you're I irritated. Okay, we're here. It's very hot out. Probably not gonna be able to film in there. They have a new wing. It's a dentist office for children and for adults, but it's in the same Clalit, like little doctor's office that we usually go to for both of the kids and for myself. So we're going in here. Maybe Raphael can film her while well, she's getting her teeth worked on, but I'm going to have to be... I don't like the sun. <clears throat> Stay over here. Grab a hold of the stroller. I don't like the sun. It's easier for him to grab the stroller and hold on than it is for my hand. He usually throws a fit when he has to hold hands. All right. Fixing to get up in here. She wanted me to come back on Monday. I was like, no. <laughs> I hate doing that. Hey. I have an appointment and it's right now, isn't it? So, we've got our number. You feeling good so far? Okay. So, I had two secretaries give me medical advice on my own child after I'm asking for an appointment. So, I went in there and the doctor's like, yep, yeah, she's fine. Come back when she starts getting her real teeth. You know, her adult teeth. And I was like, no, this isn't fine. He didn't even look at her. I was like, first of all, I want the teeth sealed so she doesn't get cavities right there in the middle of her crack. Both of her teeth have cracks in them. They're like gemination uh, or fusion. He didn't know which one. Didn't do x-rays. Told me to come back basically when she was like six or seven after she gets teeth coming in. Mm, don't want to wait that long because I don't want her teeth to have a ginormous gap in them. So I said I wanted an oral surgeon to look at it and if he feels that it is going to cause her to have gap teeth, I want it cut off, I want it sliced. So he gave me a referral for that. Why is this so hot? <sighs> AC on. Anyway, he gave me a referral. So I go out into the doctor's office, uh, the waiting room, to talk to the secretaries and she says he wants you to come back to the doctor is, is uh I think she said sometime this month like in two weeks or something a week a week or two weeks and I was like no that's not okay I don't want to come back here I want to go to the oral surgeon get his opinion on it anyway so the other nurse says she's so little you can't put her under anesthesia and I said they can do it locally. My advice would be not to do that until she's an adult. And I'm like, what? I was like, first of all, you have no opinion or say over this and you can't say anything to me about medical advice. She said, I'm not against you. I said, good. Let me get my paper and get up out of here. <laughs> like the, the first time, like I walked up to the secretary, she's like, I said, I have an appointment. It's right now at 8.30 and it's to see the dentist. Oh, you should come back on Monday because we have a better doctor here on Monday. And I'm like, <sighs> this air is not getting cold, by the way, AC on. It's hot, stale air. What are you doing to me?
hot and stale. I have no idea why it's not working. Everything's on, right? Mono? What's mono? I don't know what mono is. mono y mono It's on low. Mono. Okay, let me turn it off mono and see what happens. I don't know what that is. We got air on both sides. So anyway, they were trying to pick a fight with me in there, saying, no, don't do that. Well, I won't put her under anesthesia to have it done as a baby, but if they can do it with needles, I'm going to go ahead and do it with needles. Just hold her down, and it's like one swoof cut, you know what I mean, with a laser. So There's a fly on my with my door. He's always to... making noise while I'm making a video. You can hear in the background him just stomping his feet or something. No, so I'm anyway, not. I'm annoyed now. I have to go to communication therapy right now. And we're a little early because basically they did nothing. She sat in the stroller and he looked at her before he even, like he was eight feet away from her at the end of his workspace. And he's like, oh yeah, she's fine. And I'm like, okay, well, can I have her teeth sealed? No, we don't do that. So great. See, if you go to a private dentist, a private doctor, they they treat you how you should be treated, but everyone at Clalit, and this is the best best health insurance that we have. I'm a platinum card, like a platinum plus member of the Clalit, so we have to pay more insurance, but we're supposed to get better care and cheaper medicines and stuff like that. So, basically, he didn't do anything. I, uh, I'm frustrated. And then they make you look like an idiot because you want your kid's teeth to be nice and straight without huge gaps. And they just make you feel stupid like you're, what are you here for? You know what I mean? She's already going to get teased in school with having these monster teeth. I, I'm serious, they're monsters. And I, I asked him, I said, have you ever seen a kid with two teeth like this in the front? Have you ever? And they said no. And this is his first kid under one that he's ever seen ever. He's the guy that cleaned Raphael's teeth last year. And he's going to have to go back again because you get your teeth cleaned here once a year. Anyway, it is hot in here, man. So I'm going to go. I didn't have the car turned on. It was on accessory. That's why I wasn't getting cool in here. Yeah, I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit. I have like a couple minutes before we have to go into this appointment. Let me just say that uh, the whole thing is like with her teeth, It she could live her whole life without, you know, having any work done on her teeth or anything, but to me it's not just like cosmetic because sometimes cosmetic things can be fixed and you save yourself a lot of emotional traumatic self-confidence psychological BS um, that otherwise you wouldn't have to deal with if you got it fixed so to me, like, if she has a unibrow, I'm going to help her out with that. You know what I mean? That's something that she can do, like, once a month, and it's gone, and nobody's teasing her for it. If she has, you know, a huge gap in between her teeth, people will tease you for it, and that can be fixed. So why wouldn't I fix it? And especially before she even gets her adult teeth, you know what I mean? So, I mean, people can judge me, and I'm sure that they were judging me for that, but they don't understand, like, what's behind it. Because people here, they're like, eh, you, you know, they don't care. And I don't even think that they tease you for stuff like that here, but she's not going to live here, you know what I mean? And she's going to be... Ga-ga-ga. <sighs> and I just want the best for my kids. And if either one of them get a unibrow, they're going to get whooshed and fixed. Because when I met Hadar, nobody was taking care of him. You know what I mean? And I had to start plucking his eyebrows. <laughs> like, he had a unibrow, so... 
Abigail. How you doing, girl? <coughs> yes, you're still pretty. Yes, you're still pretty. Bumba. Give her a bomba. It's the peanut snack that everyone can enjoy. Yeah. Unless you're deathly allergic to peanuts. If I'm, if when I was a, a uh, little baby, I had bumba. Did you have to walk three feet through the snow to go to school? Yeah. Holy cow. You say, holy minies. Holy manoli. No, say, holy minies. What's a minie? A minie means... She wants some. Give her some. I don't want her to grab it. Uh... One of you said that I didn't have a good Kentucky accent. Why well, I have to beg to differ. Mm -hmm. I think I got a great Kentucky mm -hmm. accent. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm from Florida. <laughs> and I'm from Earth. Yeah, oh, good job. This is Earth. I can't wait to get off of it. What? This, I am. I came from Earth. Greetings, friend. I came from Earth. Everything came from Earth. Pretty much everything came from the Earth. solar system out there on a alien, an alien planet downloaded yeah. us here. Yeah. Yeah. Some aliens are going to hit Earth. What are they going to do to Earth? They're going to steal people from anywhere. They are? Yeah. Where are we going to go? We're going to hide so they can't steal us. But where are they going to take us? They're going to take us to our planets. They're good aliens. They're good aliens? Why are we hiding from them then? Because they like playing hide and seek. Oh. That's why What if they find you? Maybe they'll find me to take them. I'll take them with me in Earth. Yeah. In the planets. You just want to make them Earthlings. Yeah. Like us. <laughs> well. Got a little bit before my stomach will stop touching the steering wheel. It is tilted, like, way down here, so I can hold it like that. And it's not in the way of the steering wheel, but it used to be out to here. So, that's a big difference. A very big difference. Boy, you better give her some Bomba! We, we still got a few more minutes. We're so early, and we don't have enough time to go to the park. So she's screaming for some bomba. Yeah, it's salty for her to... Let me see. Let me tea. Let me tea in ya. Let me tea. Oh, no. Hold the camera on her. Give me your drink. Hold the camera on her face. I can almost see it. Yeah, you can almost see it? Yeah. Whoa! You would too. You would too. You'd fix it if you could. Da da da. Da 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 da. Uh, I have a grandpa at my house. You have what? Sorry? A what? I have a grandpa at my... Grandpa? Yeah. At my um refrigerator. Closet. Under the bed. Over the little bed. Inside the oven. Inside the washing machine. So where is he? He's at his house with his grandma. So you told me that he told me that he's in your house. No, in his house with his grandma. You have a grandpa? His house? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. With grandma. Where does he live? In Israel? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's, it's a dad. It's it's his dad. His dad's dad. Yes. Yeah. 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 And daddy, daddy goes to work all day. Next to Gaza. Clo close, I think. It's next to a Palestinian. Yes, yeah. Gaza. Yeah. Oh, you live in Gaza. Yeah. Oh, 
listen and you did the same. So first of all, you need to pick blue, I mean red and pink, the chicken's buck, okay. red. Yeah. And you too. Gonna get some falafel. I'm telling mommy which waffle is spiced that I don't want. He didn't want the harif, so he got cabbage, no. chips. Uh. Oh, somebody's calling me. And there's the falafel. They make them flat instead of round. I don't know if these are like homemade or not. <gasps> anyway, it was 10 shekels for one. Quickly! You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. Because it literally takes less time. The other one was garlic and soy sauce. Dips down. I don't have any money. I wanted some money because there's no money. Look at her face. It is so dumbfounded. Ah!